Let us pray. Father God, how grateful we are to be back in your house this week. After the week that we have come through with issues and problems all around the world, but especially getting here close to home with the murder and senseless acts of violence against two of our beloved news crews here in the valley. We think about things like this when we see them on television and, and we always think about them happening in other places, in larger cities, places far away. We don't ever think about seeing the national news trucks and crews right here in our own backyard. And Lord, while we'll never know exactly what was on the perpetrator's mind, we, Lord, think today of those who are battling and dealing with possible mental illness, things, Lord, that would ostracize them from society. We pray, Lord, that you'd help them to get the help that they need to avoid tragedies like this in the future. Lord, be with the families of those news journalists and comfort them as they try to make sense of it all today. Help them to draw near and close to you. And even more our community to do that. And as we do that, may the world who is watching us now, their television screens, see a community pulling together and sharing the love of Jesus Christ with one another and the compassion that you have for each of us. These are perfect times to reach out and to show others exactly what the scriptures talk about when we're told to love our neighbor as ourselves. Lord, we ask that you bless each member of our congregation, those who are here this morning. The service might be a blessing to them. Those who couldn't be here this morning, Lord, our crowd is down quite a bit from last week, but we're so thankful for the good crowd that we did have last week and how the message went forth and stayed with those folks throughout their weeks and their travels and their journeys. So now, Lord, for those of us that are here today, we pray that this music that we're going to sing will lift us up, will encourage us, will find ourselves singing those wonderful words of life that we just sung about in the coming days. Lord, again, bless those who are sick, bless those who are friendless this day. Bless those who need shelter, comfort, medication, clothing, whatever it might be. And help us as your children to be a part of providing that for them. Lord, we give you thanks again and ask you to be with us in this service as we seek to praise and glorify your name. And we ask all of these things in the name of Christ our Savior, for he is the one who taught us to pray as he spoke these words. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Right now, I'd like for us to look in the scriptures that Psalm 95 we're going to read the first seven verses there, and this is relating to music, of course, since this is our Singspiration Sunday. From Psalm 95, we read these words for comfort. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before Him with thanksgiving and extol Him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. In His hand are the deep depths of the earth, and the mountain peaks belong to Him. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. Come, let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. And this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our hymn now of prayer is number 99. We're going to sing, Oh, How I Love Jesus, number 99. We'll sing the first and last stanza.
prayer this morning, please. Father God, we come to you again this morning, grateful to be in your house, Lord. Lord, we pray for those this week that we've lost to such a tragic, tragic incident that's happened, Lord, as the preacher Brian did this morning. Lord, we ask you to be with those families, those friends, those cohorts, the, the people who work with these people, Lord. So such senseless killings, Lord, we don't understand. It, it, it's hard, hard for me to understand. I'm not sure about everybody else, Lord. But for me, I don't understand why these things happen. Lord, we pray for those that are sick this morning. We pray for those that are not here. We pray for those in the hospital. The spoken and unspoken requests this morning. Lord, we pray for those firefighters out in, in the West Coast that are having such a hard time. Those three that were lost last week. Lord, it's, it's again another tragic accident that don't know why why these fires start or whatever. But Lord, we ask you to be with these guys and women. Amen. Guide us and direct us in everything we do and say. Give us a reverence in His hands. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Christ gave us the representative of that. It was broken, tortured, kind of killed on the cross of Calvary for 
our salvation. In Christ's name we pray.
562, because he lives. <laughs>
The all across faith. The trust and obey. Okay. Trust and obey. <laughs> Oh, 
Psalm 150 and the first six, or all six verses, that's the entire psalm right there for you, but listen to these words. Praise the Lord, praise God in His sanctuary, praise Him in His mighty heavens, praise Him for His acts of power, praise Him for His surpassing greatness, praise Him with the sounding of the trumpet, praise Him with the harp and the lyre, praise Him with the timbrel and dancing, praise Him with the strings and the pipe, praise Him with the clash of cymbals, and praise Him with the resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath, help me finish it, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. And God add blessing and understanding to the reading of the Scripture. May these songs, as I said, that we've sung today follow you throughout the week. Now, if anyone would like to make a decision of any type for the Lord, salvation, rededication, church membership, baptism, to share something with the congregation, whatever it might be, we give God honor and glory. Let's turn in our hymn to book right now. We'll sing the first and last stanzas of Savior Like a Shepherd Lead Us as you come. And someone will meet here with you at the front. 558. Savior like a shepherd did it. responsibilities of herself and wanting to help out and always calling me and telling me that is there anything else I can do for the church Lord that around the world we can have more willing workers like that we thank you for all that she does and give her strength for her journey as she takes care of the animals that you've provided her to care with and as she seeks to do your will and more your life as she's come to rededicate her life we as her friends and her church family lift her up to you we pray for her right now and we covenant to pray in the days ahead. And we thank you for speaking to her heart this day and for the decision that was made of everlasting importance. We love you and we praise you for all that's said and done here today. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, Judy, you stay right here. I know the folks will want to come and shake your hand or give you a hug or two. Right now, let's uh, remember <laughs> keeping keep in prayer about Wednesday nights and the youth uh, as well. That's another upcoming thing that we've got. We want you to remember us in prayer about. Continue to pray for Judy. Continue to pray for our sick. It's in the list. Those were mentioned today. And I hope you have an awesome day today as you go forth to serve the Lord. So let's uh, 
respond with our commissioning statement, and our benediction will sing our response and be on our way. In the power of the risen Lord, we now go forth into the world to fulfill our calling as the people of God, the body of Christ. Go in peace and care for one another in Christ's name, and may God bless you with the vision to see His glory. May Christ bless you with the constant desire to feed upon His body and His blood, and may the Spirit equip you with every grace to show forth the love of God, to know His peace and joy, both now and forever.